Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be benchmarking my ASUS Astro RTX 58 graphics card. We're going to be testing out the 3D Mark benchmarks. We're going to do Time Spy, Port Royal, Steel Nomad, and Speedway. But first I'm going to do a prick, really quick overview of my system specs. So for motherboard, I'm running a MSI X670E Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard. For CPU, I'm running an AMD Ryzen 9 9950X 3D CPU. And for graphics card, I'm running an ASUS Astro RTX 5080 graphics card. Power in all this is a Seasonic 1300 watt platinum rated power supply. And for RAM, I'm running G Scale Z5 DDR5 6400 CL32 timings of RAM, 32 gigabytes of RAM. And for cooling, the CPU, I'm running a Corsair H170i light LCD with 420mm radiator. And the system case is a Corsair Obsidian 1000D Super Tower case. During the benchmark, I will have this uh, window closed. Okay, so then now let me go ahead and show you the MSI Afterburner overclock setting for my GPU. So we are, this is going to be my... High, higher overclock settings I don't usually do in benchmarks. I'm sorry, in like game benchmarks, so there's gonna be a higher overclock. So core voltage is 100% force, 100%. Power limit is rated to 112%. And I am running the 450 watt uh, power limit BIOS. Core clock is set to 360 megahertz. Memory is overclocked to 2000 megahertz. And the fans, I'm gonna leave it auto. So that's the settings we are gonna be using. Here's the stats in GPZ. Go ahead and refresh uh, the stats here to show we are running PCI Express 5.0. Resizable bar is enabled. And then for the CPU, like I said, it's an AMD Ryzen 9 9950X 3D CPU. I'm running uh, basically stock settings, 170 watt power limit, negative uh, 20 PBO offset. And then like I said, 32 gigabytes to G-Skill CL32 timing RAM, and so yeah, that's it. So we're gonna start off with um, 3D Mark Time Spy, and we're gonna compare to my prior scores, my 4090, as well as my MSI Supreme RTX 5080 graphics card, which was prior with a 9800X 3D CPU. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with Time Spy, and then we'll do Port Royal, Still Nomad, and then Speedway. So let me get uh, Time Spy loaded up here. And we'll get started. Okay, loading up Time Spy. And momentarily, I will show you the clock speeds as well. I was going to show you the GPU so you could hear the noise, any coil line or anything. So currently, we're sitting at 3225 megahertz, pulling between 306 and 300, and I think it said 40 watts earlier. Here's the card. The rear fan does make some noise. You will hear it throttle up a little bit under load, as you can tell here. But no coil line. 100% GPU utilization. CPU is pulling about 440 watts, running about 63 degrees Celsius. And here's with the case closed. You can kind of hear the fourth fan. It's not terribly noisy, but it does make some noise. But I just want to note that. Okay, now we're running um, the second graphics test. So let me pause it for one moment here. Okay. I notice when you you force 100% core voltage, it does seem to raise the clock speeds a little bit higher because it gives the GP more available power. So now, as you can see, we're pulling 390 two watts there and in terms of the GPU it did generate a little bit more noise I'll put it like right next to the GPU the fourth fan here so you can kind of hear it throttle up a little bit so it does make some noise it is louder than the MSI Supreme RTX with the graphics card that had prior so I do want to make that notation that it is a little bit louder and in terms of temperatures it's a little bit warmer as well I will say than the MSI Supreme RTX with the 5080 graphics card. Again, here's the noise from the GPU. And I 
think we're just about done with the uh, second test here. So next we'll have the CPU benchmark. And I'm really curious to see how the CPU will perform perform because now we've got 16 cores, 32 threads with this 9950X3D CPU. So it should boost my scores over my prior 9800X3D CPU. So when this loads, we'll go ahead and monitor the CPU stats here. 146 watts, seven degrees Celsius, 155 watts. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and see our final score here. So 30,106, graphics score of 32,756, CP score of 18,670. Okay, and just to compare my MSI Supreme RTX 50 graphics card in times by my last run that I did last month, I had a score of 20,388. And then with the actual RTX 50 graphics card, we had 30,106. So it looks like um, I think the CPU is probably mostly what made the difference here before I had the 9800X3 CPU. And then prior, when I had the 4090, which was overclocked, mind you, I got a total score of 29,439 of time spy. So we are actually scoring higher currently for this 5080. So very good. So that's the final score. Here's all the other stats here. And uh, next we'll start off with um, Port Royal. Stay tuned. All right, now we're loading up Port Royal, which is only a graphics card benchmark. In terms of GP clock speed, we're at 3217 MHz, pulling 400 watts. You can hear the fourth fan throttle off of my system here, so it does make noise. I will say it does make noise. It's not, you know, horrible, but it most certainly is audible. Now this is only a graphics test, so it's not really doing much with the CPU. It's not even using really much clock speed. Maybe it's probably it's not even using the 3D V cache because it's at 5700 megahertz. But so far with this force voltage, it does run warmer compared to when I don't run it. When I normally run a 330 megahertz core overclock on my GPU without any core voltage, it's usually around 61 to 63 degrees. 61 to 63 degrees Celsius. But with the force 100% constant voltage, it does run warmer, obviously, because it's put it pulling more wattage and also generating more heat. So I'm gonna let this run, and then once we get close to the end, I will uh, resume the video and we'll see our final score. Another look at the case to hear the noise. And we're just about there, so might as well let it run through here. And we'll see our final score. Okay, 25,278 for Port Royal. Now let's compare with my MSI Supreme RTX 5080 graphics card. Okay, so with the ASUS Astro, we had 25,278. And with the RTX 5080 graphics card, the uh, MSI Supreme version with 70 or yeah, 900 X3D, we got 22,965. And 25,278 with the Astro RTX 5080 graphics card. So, and then also, I'm sure you guys want to see what the 4090 got. So, 4090, which was also overclocked, got 28,305. So we're a few thousand points short of the the Astro RTX DD graphics card. But we did get a nice boost though over the Supreme model, which I guess I got 23,000. So kind of close to the 4090, which is also overclocked, mind you, but not quite there yet, but pretty close. All right, so next we will do uh, Steel Nomad. All right, guys, let's up the Steel Nomad benchmark. I think this one goes pretty quickly, so we may be able to show the whole whole run, hopefully. In terms of GP clock speed, we're at 3217 MHz, pulling between 394 and 400 watts. 
412 watts there, so a little bit of a boop spike there. 68 degrees Celsius. I hear that fan, which I've complained about a few times, but it is making some noise. But no coil wine. CPU is kind of chilling. This is only a graphics test, so it's not really going to use the, G the CPU. 68 degrees Celsius, maintaining 3210 to 3225 megahertz. Again, pulling about 412 watts there, 408 watts. So it pulls a little bit more power of this um, GPU test. I guess it's a little bit more heavier in terms of load. And like I said, I didn't bring the 450 watt power limit. So it's the highest I've ever seen the power limit get to, actually. Okay, so that for Seedle Nomad was 9,541. Now we'll compare what the RT, uh, MSI Supreme RTX 3080 graphics are, so stay tuned. Okay, so with the 9950X 3D and AC Astro RTX 3080 graphics card, we've got 9,541. And with the MSI Supreme RTX 3080 graphics card, we've got 9,355. So, again, it's a little bit of a boost. So the GPU overclock does seem to help a little bit more, and the power limit probably helps maintain higher clock speeds. So following this, we'll run the Speedway benchmark, and then we'll be done with our tests. All right, we're loading the Speedway tests, and from what I recall, this one goes by pretty quickly, so Speedway it is. <laughs> so we'll see what kind of uh, clock speeds we maintain. So just starting the, GP, the GPU test, we're at 32,225 megahertz. Pulling 392 watts. I did hear the GPU throttle up. And this test is pretty quick, so we'll just let it run. It doesn't take very long. 100% GPU utilization. And you could probably kind of hear the fan in the background. Yeah, pretty quick, as I said. Okay, so the score is 9,860. So we'll go ahead and compare the MSI Supreme RTX 5080 graphics card. Okay, so with the ASUS Astro 5080, 9,860, along with the 9950X radio CPU. And with the MSI Supreme RTX 5080 graphics card and um, 9900X 3D CPU, you got 9,542. So again, a nice little boost overall. Okay, well that wraps up the test. That definitely shows you what the ASUS Astro RTX 5080 graphics card does for 3D Mark, along with the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D CPU in terms of benchmarks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do give, do give this video a like. If you want to see more content like this, more gaming benchmarks with this ASUS Astro RTX 5080 graphics card and Ryzen 9950X 3D CPU, feel free to subscribe. And we'll see you guys for another video soon enough. Happy weekend, and thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.